Hi everyone, what's up? Today, we're taking a look at Hatred. Possibly one of the most controversial games of the last couple of years, really. Um, and looking at this opening, you can probably see why. I'm going to take a quick rip off the bong and let's just absorb the Hatred. Obviously, I'm going to absorb some relaxation, but you know. This is the time of vengeance. And no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. Damn, dude, life's not so bad. To die. Have you ever smoked a bowl? Please. But in all seriousness, the goal of this game is to just massacre the ever living shit out of everything in sight. And it's. A top-down isometric twin-stick shooter with a very interesting premise. Basically, you execute fuckers to regain your health. Jesus. And it's a great blast if you're stoned off your ass and just needing a great uh, ride to relax yourself. But let's really look at the controversy that this game created. And I kind of like to refer to this game as one of the most brilliantly marketed video games of all time. Seriously. Let's just look at the gameplay for a second. Look at this. They release possibly one of the greatest promotional trailers, trailers of all time when they were promoting this game. And it started with that footage that I showed you at the beginning of the game with this character's intense monologue, which is basically a super emo Duke Nukem. Um, John St. John even does the voiceover work for the main character of the game. And while it may look horrific and horrifying with all the extreme graphic and brutal violence, the truth of the matter is the game tries so hard to be shocking and offensive that it just ends up being kind of silly and a whole lot of fun. See, whenever something tries this hard, it's never going to come across seriously. Now, you add in the fact that you have this top-down perspective and there's just a disconnect between the extreme carnage that you're allowed to create. And if you really sit down and play this game, one, you'll actually find that it's actually pretty technically impressive. Once you get past some of the more brutal violence and, of course, the, well... The premise is going to turn most people off. I mean, you're playing a sadistic serial killer who goes around murdering motherfuckers like that, so it's only going to appeal to people who are really into this kind of dark adult subject matter. But I happen to be one of those kind of people, and I like to see that games like this can exist. And I think that the developers were really, really ingenious with their marketing because all they had to do was unleash a trailer of this game onto the world and everybody lost their fucking shit. Like, seriously. They could have had you walking up to characters in this game going, prepare to suck the dick of death! And then blowing someone all to hell. And that would have been a little more serious than some of the stuff that's in the game just because it's trying so hard to be so dark and so cynical. Like, let's take a look at a montage of fucking death, mayhem, and destruction right now. Okay, we splatter that motherfucker's head. You fucking get that shit in the stomach, bitch. Stab it. Take it. Take this, you whore. Take it. Sorry. Sorry, I lost. This game, you know. Oh, I fucking stabbed you in the head, you fucking bitch. Ah, I blow you fucking away. Okay, sorry, guys. I am a little high right now, as you see. But this game is just one, it's incredibly visceral due to those brutal fucking murders that you can commit. Let's be honest, it's murders. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I'm murdering the shit out of people in here. Now, I do want to note that my computer is actually under the recommended requirement for this game. It's an entry-level Alienware R15, but I'm able to actually run this game pretty well. The only time you're actually seeing lag here is unfortunately caused by fraps, which I'm using to capture the gameplay right here. But, in all honesty, when this game was announced last year, I took to my blog, and I wrote an article about it, and the main point of it really was, if you see something like this and it really offends you, 
You shouldn't go and create all these articles about we're not gonna cover this game like the doctor said and Oh look at the the oh the horror! Oh my god, think of the children like really This game is not meant for kids. It's meant for adults. It's pretty cathartic fun. I mean, there have been days when I was stressed to the max. I smoked a bowl, I sat down, I played this game, it was fun, I enjoyed myself because I mean the environment and everything about this game is so detailed, and it actually plays so well, and the sound design is good, like, everything about this game from a technical standpoint is so good, and I actually enjoy this kind of dark subject matter, so this was just kind of my niche, and I'm not even that big of a fan of the twin stick shooter, but I have been known to enjoy them, I love Smash City, uh, Smash TV, rather, or not. What the fuck am I saying Smash City for? I don't know. But, I mean, the graphics of this game are beautiful. I love the monochrome, black and white, but mildly colored from explosions and blood and police lights. It's got a lot of great things to this game. And really, when it comes down to it, I think the developers of this were just like, hey, let's create the most extreme sadistic shit that we can because everybody's gonna freak the fuck out, and then when we release it on Steam, it'll be the number one game for several weeks running, because people will have been told, oh my god, you can't play this, so of course everybody's gonna wanna check it out just for the sheer controversy of the fact. And that's why it was so stupid of Kodaku to say, we're not gonna release and publicize information and, and do news coverage of this game. And I'm like, that's so stupid, it's just a game. You know, we live in a country where you're supposed to have freedom of speech and all this shit. We should be able to have games like this meant for adults and people that can handle it. Not everybody can play a game like this, but for me, this was just over the top, carnage and fun, and it hit the spot for me. Like seriously, just listen to this shit. Anyway guys, it's been a pleasure. Check out meganmediaoverload.blogspot.com for more. And thank you guys so much for checking out another Stony Through.